Sandland, the land of sand. Hello and welcome, it's Chris back with yet another fragrance review and this time we are looking at the tremendously classy designer house. No, full stop there, right there, stop. Because I, before I continue the review, I want to make a very clear, straightforward statement. My dear friends, subscribers, mes amis, mesdames et messieurs, the statement is very clear. Chanel is not a designer. Chanel is Chanel. Straightforward, full stop, very important, okay? And that already gives you an explanation uh, of many things that I'm gonna be talking about in this review and actually uh, that you will experience if you buy actually any Chanel product, okay? Um, it's, it's a special, special maison. Um, the fragrance I'm featuring here today is, I think it's their first ever male fragrance release dating back in, uh, to the 50s, to 1955. And it's called Pour Monsieur, for the man, for the gentleman. And the parfumeur uh, behind this fragrance is Monsieur Henri Robert. Now, this is, this year it celebrates its 65th yeah, correct, 65th birthday, and it's still on the shelves. So that's one point why Chanel is not just a designer. Chanel is a piece of art, a piece of fashion and fragrance art, and it's on the shelves uh, still with the same pricing, with the same quality, even with the same looks. This looked very much the same in 1955, and look at how gorgeous this is, okay? This is actually a tester bottle, and in the back it says, uh, Centre Fraiche et Piqué Chypre. Okay, you can read it there. Um, and yes, it's fresh, it's woody, and it's Chypre. Um, how does it achieve that? I sprayed some on here, but uh, just to get the top notes again. Wow, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Ah. Oh, brilliant. Is it old manish? Is it dated? No. It's classy. Huge difference. It's so intelligently made by Monsieur Henri Robert. It's, it is so French. It's so. It's like they said at the time that Chanel pour Monsieur is the male version of the great Chanel Number no. Five for women. Actually, again another stunning my, my, a milestone of uh, a masterpiece of fragrance history and actually the, the history of the world i would even say because channel number five is just a non plus ultra of any fragrance ever created okay and this one um according to many sources was intended to be the uh, male version of chanel number five simply called pour monsieur as i mentioned now straight from the start you get a great uh citrus verbena freshness that is the classy way. It, it, this is nothing creamy here. This is kind of, it, this has a very refined French type of edge to it. And almost immediately to my nose, actually, the basil comes in. I love basil in the fragrance, okay? Together, followed up by a very, very nice oak moss here, okay? There is some woodiness in there um, originating from the cedar wood, as far as I know. But it's 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 very subdued. It's very much in the background because what you will get with this fragrance is very simple. Now you have to see um, that the fragrances at the time in the twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, they all, and this is why we are here today in this uh, bathroom. They were all all there to to um, be part of men's grooming. This is why we refer to the old fragrances as barbershop type of fragrances, because we smell them and we immediately think of, you know, men's grooming, uh, aftershaves, uh, you know, uh, all the, the saloons where uh, the men were uh, having their beard and their hair done and, and, and the barbershops, basically, that's what I'm talking about, okay? And obviously, um, a gentleman in the 40s, 1940s, 1950s um, were 
part of a different world, different fashion and the world altogether. Okay, and and the the use of fragments at the time was was way more limited as the number uh, of, of fragments available at the time was way more limited than it is today because not everybody could afford to have a Chanel or any type of fragments indeed on their shelves and then um, not not that many people had not that many men had that daily routine of, of, of applying fragments okay so this was part of, of, of an elegant elegant man's grooming at the time okay and this is how it smells with this fantastic citrus, fresh, sparkling, verbena, basil, oak moss, cedar wood. And, and it's, it's a bit more complex than that according to the note breakdown. But what you really get here is, is at least on my skin and my experience, I've worn this throughout uh, years, I think by now. But it took me a while until I got my guts together in order to be able to review this. Um, because I really want to be spot on, on with this, with this eternal masterpiece by Chanel. Pour Monsieur, one of the best fragrances I've ever come across. Performance wise, um, fantastic, but secret here. Uh, things that you need to be careful with. You have to apply definitely underneath the shirt. And I would say you would have to apply five, six, seven sprays underneath the shirt, close the collar, get the tie or not if you don't like ties. Uh, and then, you know, keep it going. It's more formal fragrance than a casual, but again, on, on a um, nicely casual, nicely casually dressed man, this is totally um, okay. It's great. It's a good, good, um, good partner, good friend to be with you, even in when you're outside your, your work or whatever. It's not a clubbing fragrance. It's not a, it's not a night out fragrance at all, in my opinion. Although again. I have to contradict myself, which I love, um, for dinners, I can imagine this, because it keeps you fresh. If you have a steak with a heavy red wine and you keep whiffs of this fantastic citrus greenness, it will keep your senses sharp. Uh, you will not get, you know, the heavy food will not impact you in a way uh, in the steakhouse sitting there and, and, and eating this, this, this beautiful steak, you will not get um, uh, you know, tired, or you're not, you not feel heavy, or, or kind of worn out. This will also and always um, invigorate you and 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 kind of um, swirl around and and keep your senses alert, if that makes any sense. And that's that's how this fragrance uh, works. It, it it has these swirls. It swirls with this green, um, uh, citrus, mossy sensation all around you. Uh, it, it works differently on clothes and skin, so you can apply actually a little bit on your shirt, maybe, on your hair, back of your neck or whatever, to keep the citrus aspect a little bit, uh, going a little bit longer. Uh, but eventually it will, it will dry down to this green oak moss, woody swirl cloud, but, but, but not a heavy cloud. This is never punchy, this is never, uh, invading anybody's uh, private aura, okay? This is just so French, so classy, an absolutely stunning fragrance. And it's still there today, after 65 years. This, to, this year it's there. It's uh, Pour Monsieur's 65th birthday, and it's still there on the shelves with Chanel. This is also, again, to my referral, why Chanel is not just a designer, it's Chanel. Chanel keeps the products alive, keeps their products uh, being high quality, creeps, keeps their products uh, available, um, keeps the price there where it belongs. And this, this is why the audience of Chanel will always have that chic, that special sophistication that is required to wear anything Chanel. This is why counterfeit and fake Chanel doesn't make any sense, okay? Because the people who wear it don't have the quality to actually pull it off, okay? That's as simple as that. And then you can kill the entire, uh, uh, you know, fakery and, 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 and counterfeiting of, of a product like Chanel. It doesn't make sense, okay? Um, it's important in, 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 in rare acid fragrances because obviously there's many, many fake Chanel's out there, but there's many websites that, that tell you how to spot a, sh a fake from an original or an original from a fake. 
okay um important read it before before you get any chanel product to protect yourself and pro protect chanel as it is as well um obviously one more thing uh, chanel karl lagerfeld has never dealt uh, you know karl lagerfeld the head of chanel since 82 83 uh, up until last year when he passed away he never dealt with the fragrance part okay uh it was henri robert and from 1978 it was jacques polge uh, as far as i remember and he created one of the flankers of this fantastic pour monsieur called uh pour monsieur concentré and this is actually the the uh, new version of the of pour monsieur concentré called pour monsieur chanel pour monsieur eau de parfum now is supposed to be a next generation to the Eau de Concentré, Pour Monsieur Eau de Concentré, created by Jacques Polge in 1989. This has been coming out in 2016, okay? I'm not sure if Jacques Polge was still involved with this one, although it smells extremely similar to, to the Concentré version. I think they just renamed it. Um, but good news there for you. Good news. Uh, this, this one here, I'll give you one as well. Hmm. Moment. No, stop it, stop it. Um, hmm. This one is so extremely wonderful. Pour Monsieur Chanel, pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum that I'm gonna go to Paris and review it for you on spots. So stay tuned for Scentland Fragrance Review of Pour Monsieur Chanel Eau de Parfum directly from Paris, okay, coming soon. Back to this beauty. Um, I wear it uh, mostly in springtime, um, but it's very versatile. It's very much a signature uh, fragrance. I would say, yeah, 35 and above people. But if, if a guy or a girl even comes up at 22 and wears this, I'll, uh, I would like, you know, my, my jaw would drop and I would say, oh, you have style. <laughs> Um, because this is really, uh, this is, you have to be able to wear this fragrance, but it will then um, brilliantly compliment you and get you compliments as well, if this is what you're aiming for. Uh, I don't think that you will get many, oh, this is old manish type of uh, feedback. No. Anybody who says that is, you know, stay with your Invictus Aventus and Vatus Distus. Uh, that's the that's the deal here. That is the deal. Uh, another kiss for the evergreen, super classy, fantastic uh, Pour Monsieur by Chanel. And as we close our review, I mentioned it's the 65th birthday, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, poor monsieur. Happy birthday to you. Merci beaucoup.